the time my kids were little, we just kept running into people. Parents of our kids' friends, people we would meet at shul, and all kinds of different walks of life. And inevitably, you would come to these moments where people would say, yeah, I, I went to the academy. I went to Ida Crown. And after a while, it started to stick out that these were uh, accomplished, dignified people. And um, as a parent, you started to get the, uh, the idea in your head that, geez, I, I want my kids to be like these people. There's a real purposeful consciousness about teaching certain values, like, like respect. And I have seen through the years with our kids that it's born fruit, you know, that they seem to have internalized some of those things that fit with what the kind of values we want them to have. I remember that, that first visit. We met Rivka, she took us to Rabbi Gutstein's Samara class. We walk into this class and like that, all these girls just stand up. I don't think anyone's ever stood up for me, okay? <laughs> it hit me right from the get-go. We're in a unique position because we're the, the outsiders in a way, both because we didn't come up through Hillel Torah and because we don't live near most of the people that go here. So we have been just so warmly welcomed and included and hosted and, I mean, it's just been amazing. I remember my first interview with Steve and Julie. They told me what it meant to them to have decided to send their children to the academy. The distance they were willing to travel to be able to come here, and the distance also in terms of community. But they have traversed those distances with great skill and style, and they have raised a family and created a family that is L'Shem Ulitiferet, that is glorious and wonderful, and represents everything that we're so proud of. Both she and Steve, I think, are summed up by the Hebrew word chayin. Some combination of genuineness, kindness, and just exuberance about life. And I think that anyone who meets them sees that quality right away, and people are drawn to that. Well, I think the grants just value compassion in people, uh, treating people the right way. And I think having the Jewish overlay to really their natural predisposition right. uh, is just, it's just who they are. My parents really embody that vision for Torah Umada that the Academy works so hard to promote. This true, genuine care for how we approach our secular studies, combined with a passion for Judaism that pushes them to facilitate this growth with living vibrant Jewish lives. Even my dad, when he's stressed out about work, I feel like he's He's always pushing to be better, to, to create something good. And my mom, I feel like, just is constantly looking for more ways to reach her potential. She ta she'll take a painting class, or she'll start writing, or she'll do all these different things, and I feel like they're both searching and growing in positive ways. There's a reason that our parents sent us here, and it's because Ida Crown continues to teach us the values that they already have. I would say a remarkable thing about the grants is when you look at their kids. It's how well they fit in with the social fabric of the school when they're here. And then if you look at them when they've graduated, it's a thing that's, that they've gone on to do afterwards. In many ways, they really are model students. And I think as parents, that's about as good as it gets. Their dedication to their kids' emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being is really their top priority in their lives. Steve and Julie Grant are Parents of the Year for the simple reason that they made a very tough decision to send their children to the Academy. And they've supported the Academy every step of the way, and they have reared children for whom we are so proud and they gain so much nachas. Like Rabbi Matanki says, you know, he's, he's got our kids more than, than we do. And when you look at the people they're with from period to period to period, I mean, I just didn't have a frame of reference for that. Warmth and connection are two things that have been a really kind of wonderful experience, you know, that we've had here. It just feels like people really care about each other and all want the same thing, which is for their kids to grow up happy and healthy and sensitive to others and, you know, good people. 
And, and, and now we see it on the backside. My son, you know, he's in an engineering program where there's kids from, you know, every corner of the world. And it almost seems like he's better prepared to integrate with all these different kinds of people. You know, there was people all of one faith here, but as a representation of that faith, what was taught was a certain way of being in the world. And uh, hopefully they'll continue to carry that forward. It's just been a great experience for us.